Let's talk about why developmental rubrics are awesome. So we educators want students to show us their new skills and understanding, and we need a way to record the evidence of that learning. Um, for various different reasons, we also want to give students feedback in the form of advice about how they can improve. And we think a really, really good way to do that is with a developmental rubric. Now, there's a lot of rubrics out there in schools around the country who are using rubrics, but they're not developmental. Uh, they might look something like this, and this is a very badly written rubric. Why? Firstly, the criteria are not written the skills and the criteria are not written with verbs, so the students don't need don't know what they need to do. They have to translate the badly written rubric into verbs so they can understand it. Also, there's a lot of ambiguous language in here. Yeah, a well written rubric should demystify the process of getting better at a skill. But just saying that you know you go from poor to satisfactory to good to excellent that doesn't tell us anything. It also doesn't get a, give us any information about how to teach. If a student if a student's design is good, how do they get better? Or you should just become excellent. That doesn't really mean that much. Um, this is also too wordy. You'll notice that they have repeated heaps of information in the highest criteria, and the lowest criteria also have heaps of negative language saying what students can't do. But really, assessment should be to find out what students can do. So that one of the reasons is that we can teach them from that point. So a developmental rubric might look something like this. Uh, for students, it tells them how to improve. It tells them what it looks like to get better. It's kind of filled in all of the gaps that aren't there in the curriculum already. Get much more meaningful feedback on their performance. It's less judgmental. It's just everyone is somewhere on this grid somewhere trying to get better and students can use it to track their own progress. For teachers, once you've developed the skill of writing developmental rubrics, Marking using a developmental rubric is a lot quicker and it's cons more consistent between teachers. It also provides more information about how to target teaching to individual students or groups. Um, it also gives you a heap more info for reporting. If you assess the student as there, we know that the student can do everything up to and including there. So there's already 10 statements saying what they can do and five statements saying what they could do to improve. Parents, we found that Parents like developmental rubrics because their children are more motivated, particularly those at the bottom and the top of the ability spectrum. It gives them more targeted information about what they can do to help, and it tells them what their child can do, not what their child can't do, or how they compare to other learners. There's so many classroom practical strategies that you can use developmental rubrics for, but one really good one I'll just talk about quickly is a rubric with examples. Often teachers give students um, student work samples, but it might be like the perfect work sample, which is not that helpful to low or medium ability students. This rubric with examples has student work samples from all different um, levels of ability. And so students can look at it to see what they need to do to get better developmental rubrics, therefore, are awesome.